Okay, so over the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to take you through the software interface in front of you on the screen right now, step by step. The reason I'm going to do that is obviously a few people out there that are interested in trading. Some of you might have been using the software a little bit for a little while and they still don't quite understand what I'm doing in the videos and what I'm looking at and where I'm looking when I, when I refer to certain things. So if I take you through step by step now around the screen, it should be a lot clearer in the other videos, both on YouTube and in the video pack. Now. Starting in the top left there with the timer, that's the market navigator, that's where we're going to run all our menus from, open our various sports and markets and different interfaces. The one I'm going to talk about is the ladder interface, that's the one you see in the videos and that's the one on the screen now. So below the market navigator we've got our market overview chart. Interesting chart, very useful, it's good for formulating and viewing and, and, and getting an opinion on the market as a whole in general and it can also be helpful for spotting different reactions between different runners within the market. So if we have a quick look at that now, you can see aces over eights is the blue line. That has been descending, um, obviously, from a larger price to a shorter price. The different color lines are the different runners or the different horses in this particular example plotted against each other all on one chart. Obviously, the price is on the far left of the chart there. Moving across onto the main ladder interface, we'll start from the bottom, and that's your basic Betfair chart. So that's what you can get on the website if you click the little icon next to the specific course, or you know if it's football, or whatever it may be. Each one of those individual charts represents the horse in this particular example above it. So on the far left of the ladder is Lakeshore Ladies Betfair chart. Moving directly up, there's two boxes above the Betfair chart. One of them's empty, one of them has got two previous match bets in. Now on the left, that is your unmatched bets. If there is a bet in the market that has not been matched, it will be represented in that box. To the right of that, you can see there's two blue bets already, one for £5.32, one for £20, both at 4.7. They are my matched bets box. That is where my match bets have been logged below the actual ladder itself. Moving up, you've got the main ladder itself. Now. Going left to right, we've got the chart history over where, where the bets have been matched, the respective prices. The actual price itself is the centre column. To the left of that is your pink bets, that's your lay bets that are available to be backed in the market. These are your, This is the money that's sat there waiting to be backed. So at 4.1 right now, there is £889 or £926 sat in the market. Alternate side, blue bets, it's your back bets waiting to be laid within the market. So that should be very clear. To the right of that, you've got your traded volume column. That's how much has been traded at the price it's in line with within the market on that specific runner. And then to the right of that, we've got our profit or loss column. Now, you can see on the example, we've got, what, £38.72 profit. Moving up from the actual ladder itself, we've got our stake buttons across the top. You can set hotkeys for this so you can change your stakes very quickly. And above that, the very fast streaming chart there, that is the traded volume. You'll hear me refer to that a lot in the videos. That is the money that is coming into the market as it comes up. And once more above that, we've got the actual name, trainer, and jockey of the horse that we're trading on. So that is the ladder interface explained.